What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the channel. Checking out a little bit of farming simulator 2019 today. Uh, on the Lone Oak map. We uh, actually currently planting <coughs> cotton with a... Uh, oh, I can't remember the name of the John Deere planter here. But it's pretty simplified. Uh, let's go into our... Actually, let's go to the garage. Go to owned items. So, I pretty much simplified this map so that I could afford all these things that I have. I took and sold most of... Well, I didn't sell the combine. And I didn't sell the header. But I pretty much sold everything else other than the sprayer that comes with the map. There's another tractor that comes with the map, pickup, and some other stuff. I sold all that. And I basically bought three tractors, a truck, uh, two pickups, a uh, grain trailer, grain cart, seed carrier, um, fertilizer, liquid fertilizer, and uh, the Virtuos 1500, which does um, it does lime, manure, and fertilizer. Oh, and I kept the header trailer too, by the way. So, in order for me to afford all of this stuff, I went and found certain mods, like these large tractors, um, which I really love. The 8440. It's 100,000. I think it was like 106,000 after I did some modifications to it. Other than the Michelin Man up here, it's not a bad mod. I really like it. It says it has 700 horsepower. I don't know if that's true or not, but it seems to pull um, the multi-plow thing pretty easily. And then I got this tractor. Um, after a few modifications, I think it was just under or just over 100,000. It's a good tractor. Uh, full horsepower, where is the engine controls? Let me see here. Maybe this one doesn't have it. the controls. Oh yeah, it does. right here, engine controls. You get up to 270 horsepower. So, not another bad mod. I enjoy it. Um... And then, of course, I found this Steiger. I haven't ran it yet. Kind of waiting until we get our first harvest in, which we're doing cotton, by the way, because I'm using the Seasons Geomod with the Oklahoma Geomod. And prices for uh, cotton are, I think, 2400 Anyway, um, as you've seen, I got the... Uh, the Ford L9000 Aeromax. Not a bad truck. Uh, it's got a few little modifications here and, here and there that you can do. Uh, pretty cheap. 37.3. Um, we're going to save up and probably get this other LTL 9000. Might switch that out. I'm thinking about getting this uh, grain truck as well to run grain back and forth when I do grain. I don't know if I'm going to do grain yet or not. You're going to do cotton for a while. I was also thinking about possibly getting, selling that other truck and buying this one. It's an international. It's a 1989 IH Eagle 9300, so we'll see. It's only 22. Pretty cheap. So this is how I started out my farm. Basically with just cheap stuff. That's how I got it up to where I needed it. Or where I wanted to be, I should say. Uh, although the planter, it says it's a case, but it's it's marked as John Deere. It's one hundred thirteen thousand dollars, and you can put uh, the fertilization tanks on it, which I have, because without it, it doesn't do it. So, but these are all the crops of the plant. Let's see. Like I said, I've got this, which it's only you know, 
14,000 for it. Uh, there are no modifications to it, but it will simply do fertilizer, lime, manure, if you get cattle. And then, uh, let's see, medium tractors. The one other tractor that I do get, which as you can see, I've got many. I'm going to save up to get this one too. It does not have, it does have it. Supposedly this is a uh, American style tractor, uh, 320 horsepower with 8400 engine setup, all the way down to 210. And then we, you know, we got some Olivers, but this is the other one I got right now. Uh, I don't think I, I think the only modification I did to this was... I think we're running 207 horsepower right now. So I put it at 68. Uh, and I believe we're running uh, Michelin on it. So, 6,800 bucks. Not bad. And I am running course play. If you didn't see that already. Anyway, um, just making sure he can turn. I don't know. Course play is kind of weird. You can also pull up the uh, the course like this as well. If you haven't ever played with course play, it's pretty simple. Kind of waiting to see what this thing does. I haven't ever played course play with this tractor, so I don't know how well it's going to respond to it. Anyway, we had to wait until pretty much the fourth. The fifth week in uh, spring to plant cotton because it only does 54 degrees. Uh, so you can do 46. It's two highest paying crops right now. So I figure what the heck we'll do cotton. And okay, so course play is going to continue course. That's good. Uh, you can pull up both maps at the same time to see what it's running at. Um, we also did throw, I did throw in the, uh, dirt tire thing, I can't remember what it's called. Anyway, it puts the correct dirt on the tires, and it's kind of cool. I like it. Yeah, let's see, we'll close out that so we don't have to worry about that. Uh, here's the Aeromax, it's connected to the, uh, what was my seed trailer? I've been running lime in it because it takes so much lime to do basically, uh, let's see, we own field 29, 34, 41, 42, and 32. Um, we're changing field 41 from grass to 40 uh, to cotton, and then 42 is going to be, uh, I don't know, I don't know what I'm going to make that yet. Um, as I was saying before, course play, it doesn't, uh, how do I, how do I want to say this? Course play is kind of a pain in the butt with some of these tractors, like the John Deere. It likes to swing wide, like super wide, like it's a semi. So sometimes it'll get caught up on, uh, trees or fences. Um, if you do more than one headland, it's better to do three if you're going to use this tractor uh, for plowing, probably for planting as well, I don't know. Um, 
I did find this truck. It's the uh, it's a Ford Super Duty, and uh, the neat thing about this, it actually has uh, service. If you need to service your vehicles in the field, you can do that. Simply hit R and then hit M, and then you can actually turn on fuel tank. Holds 500 gallons. That's pretty cool. So you can actually fill up your equipment in the field if you need to. Just simply hit R and then hop in the equipment that you're operating and uh, yeah, fill it up. I mean, you only get 500 gallons, but it is what it is. Then, uh, let's see. I'm thinking about running cattle. I don't know yet, but here's the 7230. Two wheel drive. I love this tractor. <laughs> I like the old school stuff. Uh, okay. Yes, I am going to tab probably through a lot of my stuff. It's currently 7.23 in the morning, and we are planting away. Depending on how much money we get out of the, uh, the cotton, I'm going to determine if I buy more fields or if I buy more equipment. I don't know yet. This is this tractor's first voyage, so... Let's see. I've been using the, uh... The John Deere for all the plowing, cultivating, and, uh... Oh, I don't know if you guys can hear this thing when I start it, but we'll go ahead and start it. I kind of got the uh, vehicle volume down. Let's see if I can turn it up a little bit. You guys can hear that. Ooh. That sounds good. And of course, this pickup doesn't do anything. I just use it for tooling around on the farm. But let's look at our map here. Currently. These prices, I don't know if they actually match up with uh, seasons. Right now, cotton's at 22.39. I think I'm running on. Yeah, we're running economy on normal. Dirt's on normal. Uh, but if you look at seasons, uh, where is it? They're running at 24.73 at the beginning of spring. The fall, it says it's running about the same in the fall, or the winter, excuse me. Then you can see the prices drop off in between, which we'll probably end up harvesting somewhere in here. Leave. Cotton. Yeah, we can usually harvest that anywhere from the beginning of the fall to the second week of winter, so we'll want to keep an eye on that. Usually, between the fourth and fifth week, like I said, you can go ahead and plant cotton. Uh, you have up until the first to second week of summer to plant cotton. We might do soybeans next go around kinda I don't know switch it up a little bit maybe this planter is actually not using as much as I thought it was going to which is pretty nice I thought I was going to use a lot more as you can see the the tires 
convert back to uh, whatever terrain you're driving on. So, that's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, I was going to look at my map here. Field 41 will be cotton. Field 29 will plant with cotton as well. Don't exactly know what I'm going to do with field 42 yet. Last time I played on this map with the combine and the grand cart, it was a nightmare. There's a fence that runs right over here, and the grand car got kept getting stuck on it because it wanted to drive through here to catch up to the combine if it signaled for it over here. So that was a real pain. But we will have plenty of things to think about once we harvest. But in the meantime, guys, I think that's going to do it for now. If you enjoyed the video be sure to leave that thumbs up button down below if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe um, thank you to all the people that have resubscribed or subscribed to my new channel I appreciate it very much I'll be sure to hit you guys back up with subscriptions or subscribing to you excuse me <laughs> anyway guys until next time I'll see y'all later